guys, so my mining rig video that I built uh, did really, really well, as you can see here. Um, so I thought I would do a like one week update on how it's been doing. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, how the mining rig's been doing, a uh, little bit, little bit of um, hiccups that it's gone through, and uh, basically how much it's been making a day, all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get let's get started. Um, and I'll show you all the statistics and what it's been doing. All right, so here's the mining rig. It's been running really, really well lately. Um, I got a new monitor right here, as you can see. Uh, this is like a three and a half inch, uh, just like little LCD monitor so I can check in on it and it uses a lot less power. Um, as you can see, I have it plugged in using like a phone power brick for an old Samsung. Um, I'll leave a link to this monitor down below if you guys want to pick up one for your own mining rig. I just mounted it to the side of mine uh, using like double-sided sticky tape. It's really lightweight. Um, so a little bit of hiccups that I've had with the mining rig so far is um, getting stable overclocks and internet issues. So um, getting stable overclocks, it took me a few tries. You, you, if you get it your first try, uh, you are really, really lucky. Um, but I finally got it running stable, and I fixed the problem with the internet. I got a stronger antenna, as you can see right over there. Uh, so that's been working well. I've had no connection problems since I got that all running. Uh, I had a little bit of downtime the other day just to get everything uh, reset up. Um, I did end up replacing one of the riser cards. So uh, this one right here failed on me. That's why you buy, uh, that's why I recommend buying the extras. So when these things die, um, it's good to have spares. So I got around eight of them. That way I have a spare per graphics card. So I recommend buying at least two per graphics card. So you're at least a little more prepared. Um, but yeah, if I zoom in here, actually it will be better if I take this off its tripod. So yeah, if I go over here, uh, it has been online for one day, 16 hours, 2 minutes, and 15 seconds. Usually once you get past that uh, like 24 hour mark is when you know it's running stable. Uh, I'm getting around 0.8 shares a minute, and so far I have uh, 1,924 uh, shares. So it's running all good and stable. Uh, it's been doing really well. I'm really happy with how it turned out. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll link this uh, monitor down below if you want to pick one up. So I'm going to show you how much I've been making a day uh, and how much I've been making a week. So let's go to that now. All right, so uh, here's how the mining rig has been running so far. Uh, this payout right here, uh, that payout was um, a little bit earlier. That was when I was still using uh, my two graphics card previously before I got my extra two and like the rest of the supplies to build my mining rig. Um, but as you can see, uh, it is currently running at 174 mega hashes a second uh, instead of 120. And that's just because um, it goes up and down a lot. Like you're gonna get different hash rates based on how many shares you're sending to the pool. Um, so yeah, it's, it should be getting a payout, uh, later today sometime. So, um, yeah, so about every week I get a payout. And then, uh, down here is the graph. So, let me try to focus a little bit better on that. Here, let's, uh, there we go. So yeah, um, this is where I restarted it a little bit. But as you can see, it goes up and down all the way. So like here's 150, it like, then it goes down, spikes back up. So it's it's kind of all over the place, but usually it tends to be pretty stable. You can also slide this around and look like more in depth. But uh, yeah, I'll link I'll link the pool down below if you want to join the same one I'm doing. And uh, yeah, so if if I take this number right here. And I will go to 
Ethereum price right here. Let's paste that in. So every day the mining rig at Ethereum's current value is making around $9 a day. So that's pretty good. If Ethereum's price doubles, it will be around $18 a day. But um, yeah, it's it's been doing really, really well. Uh, I'm really happy with how it turned out. It just went up again in hash rate. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll link the monitor system and my mining pool down below if you guys want to check that out. And um, yeah, I guess I'm going to just end this off with a little bit of footage from my mining rig. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy these videos. And um, if you have any questions down below, I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.